The search for a missing five-year-old boy in Jacksonville's intracoastal area comes to a tragic end. Sky 4 flying above the area where it happened right now. Neighbors say this was the worst possible outcome. I just want the mom to know that her little boy mattered to each and every one of us. And we tried our very best and that our hearts are with her and that we cared what happened this morning. Five-year-old Muhammad Noor was found dead in a pond just two hours after he was reported missing. And we do have News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker who's covering that story for us. But in the meantime, here are some of the details that we know from that family to who was loved and mattered, they did what they could, they said, to try and help find him. In addition to that, here's Sky 4 Live over the Wolf Creek townhomes. We're told within five minutes of his parents reporting him missing, an officer began searching. It began just before 9 a.m. and 32 officers, 48 members of JFRD, canines, boats, drones, and a helicopter were involved. Several people living in the community tried to help and were told neighbors there stick together and watch out for each other's kids. Police say it appears Noor had autism and was nonverbal. They say he got out of his home through the front door somehow. This is around 1050 when the fire department boat found his body in a pond east of his neighborhood. We spoke with a woman anonymously who helped out in the search who says this has really shaken their community. Several people walked around the pond, including us, um, the police officer. I watched a police officer walk the entire pond. Um, the helicopters went over and over and over, but it's a small area, you know, so to come down and get back up. So they did their very best. 